Whoa, overcompensate much? Man, how many military factories does a guy need? If you weren't always destroying them, I wouldn't need so many. And done! Duh! Thanks for fixing me! No problem. Sorry you got stuck with a voice chip that looks like it was built by a two-year-old. I think I liked it better when I was trying to destroy you. Yeah, well, feelings mutual, Eggface. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Before we start destroying each other, let's remember why we're working together. Okay, please remind me. Tails, we need Eggman to shut down his machine. And you don't trust me to do it. What? No! I trust you, Tails. It's just that... No, you don't. You trust Eggman more. Do you know how much that bites? I do trust you, Tails, but the whole world's in danger because I did something stupid. Do you know how much that bites? Actually, nothing bites more than having to listen to this dreadful conversation. Eggman! Hey, you, you bite! bite. Why are you still here? I'm just getting ready. Well, you seem to be taking your time. Well, it is my time to take now, isn't it? But what if I told you that you were the only one I trusted to be fast enough, oh. smart enough, mm -hmm. and pretty enough to beat the blue nuisance? Well, I'd say you've got the right girl for the job. Well... That was so easy, I almost feel guilty. The way he keeps on trying to get past all the death and
Oh, you're adorable. That was cool, pun entirely intended. Your efforts are impressive, little hedgehog, but you are destined to fail, as the fat fool has failed before you. I'll get fat from eating your black hearts, you Eggman wannabes! Whoa! Your threats are almost as amusing as your mustache. I must commend you on your invention, though. Stronger and stronger as we leech the life from your dying world. Yeah, I've noticed. But where are you gonna live when your world's dead, guys? Oh, right. You've been dead, too. <laughs> too bad for you. <laughs> I will burn your world, you rebellious scum. I will destroy everything you love and make you rot. No, no, no. Boss, your hands! As long as I can still strangle a Zeti, my hands are fine.
lose it, Snow Cone. The last time we met, you ruined my nail art. Now I have to reapply a whole new coat. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Mm -hmm. I am so, so sorry. Oh, well, in that case... Oh no, what I meant to say is, I'm so sorry that you have nothing more important to do in life. Oh, you're gonna pay for that!
young lady would do. So I made you a snowbot body. Uh, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> True. Your robots are a reflection of your genius, Dr. Eggman. But this does give me an idea. I think I know a way to cause the lost hex to implode using null gravity effects. We could destroy the Zeti in one quick stroke. And exterminate every living thing around them. Are you out of your mind? Of course, there'd be some collateral damage, but... Collateral damage? What kind of monster... Tails! I'm sorry. I suddenly felt very mean. Not the best idea to put the dimwit's head on a battle bot. In hindsight, I gotta agree with you, Doc. Thanks for the save. Um... Can you get off me now? I can't figure you out. One second you're contemplating genocide, and the next you're saving one of your worst enemies. I'm a complicated guy. And you? What were you thinking, Tails? You could have gotten yourself killed. I was just trying to help. 